back again it's running at 20 milliamps and uh, lowest speed and I'm gonna turn off that one turn it off down connect the lamp of the second system and turn on the second system lamp is on spin so this coil now is triggering the device and you can see now it's using the second amperage 260 milliamps and the lamp is going on and the oscilloscope signal of all of the B channel is there and it's about 5 milliseconds of vision amperage going to the battery about 50 milliamps so let's turn on the other one too amperage goes up 16 milliamps light is on the second milliamps going up both signals will scope they pretty much lock each other as you can see and now here's the thing I have the two coils triggering, triggering the wheel and I'm gonna disconnect the lamps because they kind of eat a lot of energy and I'm gonna switch not gonna show how I get to the switch spot I watch that number for this first guy 20 milliamps and its amperage going to the battery and the signal so what I do I s increase the resistance until I see the signal in the top showing pulses so I come back a little bit of resistance until the pulses appear and I watch the milliampage 17 milliamps now I'm gonna do the same thing with the second part which is the second system so I'm gonna increase the resistance the amperage goes down as you see the 20, 19, 20 and the second signal too oh too many pulses coming back a little bit oh a little bit oh too many pulses come back a little bit good perfect milliamperage 18, 23 is going 60 milliamps one battery 50 milliamps the next battery and you can hear the, the, the wheel is spinning faster let's play a little bit more go back to the first SSG I increase the, I'm going to show the scope, increase the resistance until you see the two pulses. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, going up, 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 up. See how much more I'm going up and then the scope still doesn't show two signals. Oh, two signals there. Pulsating. See that, right? Coming back a little bit until it disappears. Oh, it disappears. Amperage now goes down to 15. I'm going to go to the second spot. 24. Increase, increase, increase. Oh, signal. Come back a little bit. Stop. 18 milliamps, 15 milliamps, 50 milliamps going one battery, 50 milliamps are going to battery. Spinning even faster. Oh, and I do have a tachometer. Let's see the speed now. This thing is spinning at about. 1093 RPM. Pretty good. You can get better than that. Again, I'm going to come back to the first spot, first SSG, watch the amperage, watching the signal increasing the re resistance, increasing, increasing. See, I'm still increasing more, more signals. Come back a little bit until the two signals appear. Done. Go to the second spot, second SSG. Increase, increase, increase. Oh, right there. Stop. Come back a little bit. So I got to 15 milliamps, 15, 150 milliamps, 150 milliamps, going 50 milliamps to one battery, 50 milliamps to the battery, clean signal, no pulsating, fast speed. I can't play with that, but it's not gonna go better than that at all. A thousand, hundred thirty, maybe if I tweak a little bit more, I can get a faster speed. So that's how I do it. So the two numbers I match there, the two numbers here, and the signal. And it's pretty fast, it's increasing.